Chair. I'll call, uh, David Bennett. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, and it's a great pleasure to talk on the taxation, residential land withholding tax, GST on online services and student loans bill. And um, we are talking about the uh, student loan uh, portion of the bill, which is actually the smaller part of the bill. Um, the bigger parts we will come out to will be um, around other areas of the bill, around the residential withholding tax and also um, the GST amendments, which probably um, will be more helpful for that last member because you'll be actually able to speak on the bill rather than to, to wander off and trying to make political statements um, um, that are completely irrelevant to the actual bill that he's talking about. And what did you say, Mr Clark? Oh, the Speaker made no judgment, Mr Clark. The only judgment is your judgment and the, your leadership. And, um, yes, yeah, so I wouldn't be, um, so I wouldn't be yelling out too much. But when we look at the student loan amendment uh, section of the bill, this is an important part of it. Uh, not as important as the other two, but still important. Now, most student loan borrowers do the right thing and they, they repay the amount of uh, their student loan. Is it Mr Cosgrove, is it? Yeah, Mr Cosgrove was asked. Well, he'll be paying back his soon when, there's, um, when he has to go in to get a real job and do some real work other than working for the Labor Party. Um, but the, um, when the student, most student bo loan borrowers repay their loans. Um, now, when we have uh, borrowers overseas, we have a lower rate of compliance. And so there's a lower rate of return to the New Zealand government um, from overseas um, domiciled New Zealand um, borrowers of student loans. So basically, over the last few years, you've seen some legislation in this area to try and claw back some of that student loan that's overseas and uh, to make sure that we get a, a better repayment um, from New Zealanders that have taken the advantage of our education system, um, got a good education and then gone overseas, got a good job and haven't paid their student loan back to the extent that those that have been living in New Zealand have. So this bill contains uh, further amendments in that area, uh, notably around the arrangement of exchange of information regarding New, Ze New Zealand student loans uh, with our Australian counterparts. So um, that's the Commissioner of Taxation Australia and the Commissioner of Inland Revenue New Zealand. So, so basically there will be greater exchange of information. Now many New Zealanders that um, study and then go overseas do go to Australia to work and um, so that is one thing that uh, there is a high preponderance of people that haven't paid their student loans back and that are in Australia uh, compared to other countries. So this exchange information will allow the Inland Revenue to receive up-to-date contact details uh, for New Zealand student loan borrowers uh, living in Australia uh, through matching borrower details against the Australian tax office records and um, of Australian taxpayers. So that's important for New Zealand uh, tax base that we have that information and therefore we can go further in, um, in seeking repayment of those loans. Um, the bill also has um, a few smaller things around it, around delegation of authority for um, charitable purposes, uh, for, to, to acknowledge some, some organisations are charitable that they may be working for. And basically, there are situations where borrowers, borrowers may volunteer and go work overseas, and um, so they're treated as if they were physically present in New Zealand, um, so that they don't have um, to pay interest on their student loans, whereas if they had been treated as overseas, working for a voluntary organisation, um, they could have been seen as, um, as uh, then having to have interest on their student loans. So taking into account those New Zealanders that make a contribution to the world um, through the volunteer work that they do, um, we're making it easier for the student loan um, legislation to actually um, be more efficient in how it impacts on those, those uh, members of our community. So um, the student loan um, scheme changes will apply from enactment of this bill. Uh, so that will go enable us to have um, uh, that sharing of information um, immediately uh, with the Australian Tax Office. So, Mr Speaker, this is um, uh, it's not the, the most um, uh, complicated part of the bill or the most um, debated part of the bill. Uh, you'll see that more around the res residential land withholding tax. So I'm sure that there'll be more opinions um, through that area and also in regards to the GST on online services. But it is part of this bill, it's part of that work around student loans to, en to enable New Zealand to get um, the, most of the, the best return that we can for those people that have borrowed and have gone overseas and getting benefit of the student loan and um, especially in the Australian context. So thank you very much, Mr Chair. I call the Honourable